Hello, students. Good evening to everybody. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening teacher. teacher. Welcome to our English class. Good evening, good evening, teacher. It's good to see you guys. Welcome to all of you. And also, congratulations for, you know, staying here on time. And uh, how, was your, how was your day? Tell me a little bit. So, how was your day, by the way? It was good. It was exciting. Tired. How was it? Tell me about it. Well, that's good my day oh really and how was your job what's great yeah yeah a good job today a good job today okay that's awesome so we also feel really you know excited to you know to have a good time and especially when we have a lot of things to do but it's actually a great opportunity you know to try to you know work a lot try to enjoy what we do, especially in our jobs. So we, we had to enjoy it, our jobs, what we, what we like to do, also the activities that we had to develop. So, and let's start today with the class. I'm just going to like present the, you know, the material for this class. And, um, you know, the most valuable part about this is that, that every time we had to practice, we had to produce a language and also we have to show um, a lot of confidence, especially when we're speaking. So do you check the material that I sent it to you or you didn't? So tell me about it. Do you check the material? Yes, no? Do you check the material, guys? Uh, the presentation? Yes, okay. Yes, teacher, I check the material. You check the material, that's cool. So let's introduce today about this part and also, uh, what I love about this material is that we can um, practice and also show, you know, valuable contents and information here. So look at this. Let's see here. I don't know. Can you see the presentation? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect. So let's try with this part. Okay, so today... Um, we have a great topic to share, and I know that you are very capable to, to do this job. And I would like to ask you first, and what did we talk about yesterday? Who wants to help me? What did we study yesterday in the class? I need a volunteer. Oh, problems. Mm -hmm. Yes. What else we did? Tell me, tell me. ¿Qué hicimos? ¿Qué hicimos? Cuéntenme, cuéntenme. Uh, possible recommendations. Recommendations. Okay. So we match, we match questions with answers. We match questions with answers too. Okay. So that's nice. That's nice. So it's it's good. So talking about you know some health situations, especially when we're sick, so we need some recommendations. And you know what? Uh, let me tell you something. I, I just I don't feel like not so good at all. I don't know. Maybe it's like flu because of the weather, and that's not so good for me. But I hope that I I will take some preventive medicine because the preventing medicine can help you when you feel like a little headache or your nose is not so good. So it's recommendable to, to have some preventive medicine. And also vitamin C when, for flu, cold, vitamin C, it's a very necessary. So actually you can uh, take about, about that part. All right, so let's start with this, the next part. So we have the video conference, in this case, number five for asked, and the topic is so to neither and either. That's the topic. Uh, have you studied this topic before? Tell me. Have you studied this topic before? No? Mm, no, no. Teacher, teacher. Okay, much better for me because I will help you to work with that. Especially when we had to give an answer. Let's see. And I need a volunteer for helping me to um, read the general objective for this. Oh, uh, Ivan, thank you. Thank you, Ivan. Okay, okay, okay. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people deciding where go, where to go for dinner. World Switch has so two neither and either. 
will be introduced. Okay, thank you so much. It's it's uh, good to know what we had to do. So it says that you will listen to a conversation between two people and also talking about dinner, you know, talking about food and also giving them some possible answers. So you can uh, think about this part of this. Okay, so after the general objective, so we go on to the next page or slide and look at this. Look delicious, right? Do you have dinner? Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. 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 Yeah. Mm. In my case, I haven't had my dinner, but I see the hamburger and I am hungry. Oh, look at the pizza. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. the french fries, delicious, delicious, and a soda. No, so bad. <laughs> so, the healthy food is important, the healthy food is necessary. And do you eat a healthy food all the time? Or not? Not really. No, not really. Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, so it's necessary to eat healthy. And um, look at this one. So we have this type of food. We have the chocolate brought to Spain from Mexico. And well, let's read what it says. Um, help me to read this part. Look at this one. Follow the reading. What it says. Look at this one. The noodles, the noodles first made in China um, for around thousands years uh, before Christ. So uh, thousand years before Christ, imagine the famous noodles uh, belongs to China. That's good. And the number two, the coffee, the first, you know, and um, created in the Middle East in, in the year 850, the coffee. And we love the coffee, right? People are, they, they have a habit for coffee. And I have a friend that they, they say, you know what? I need to drink coffee because if I don't drink coffee, you know, I'm not concentrated or I'm not walking. So it's necessary to, to drink coffee to have energy, but it's up to some people. The chocolate brought in to Spain from Mexico in uh, 1520. Imagine the chocolate the, so that's mean that the chocolates belong to mexico let's see the next one and the french fries uh, first made in belgium um for around 1680 and the french fries uh, in belgium what about sushi food first sushi modern style sushi first made in japan in the uh, 70s in the 17th, look how incredible is this. And the sandwich, the sandwich name uh, for the English, in this case, uh, of sandwiching 1760s, the first sandwich. Look how lucky people are. So um, it was made in, you know, Eng in England in this case. And also the pizza, the first pizzeria because that it is italian so we say pizzeria in new york city opens in 1895 imagine uh, 1895 years 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 ago and the last but not least the famous hamburger look this one it, it was it was invented in Connecticut in USA in 1906. 19, so look how incredible is this about this food. And uh, most of the time we consume a lot fast food or delicious food, especially for that. And I would like to ask you some questions uh, because I know that most of you can cook. Can you cook? Yes. Yeah, pizza. Yes. Oh, I you can pizza. pizza. Wow, who can cook pizza? Can make, can make pizza. <laughs> wow, you can amazing. Congratulations because you can cook pizza. I can eat it, but not cook. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So if if I talk about hamburgers, um, can you say some uh, ingredients to, uh, for hamburgers? What ingredients um do you do you know that hamburger contains? Mm -hmm. Tomato, cheese, tomato, cheese, 
Brill. Onion. Onion and meat? Meat? Cheese. Oh, meat. cheese. Okay. 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 Ketchup. Okay. Ketchup. All right. So it's very delicious. What about the how, how do you oh. say most mayonnaise? Oh, mayonnaise. 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 Most art. Most art. Most art. Okay. Yeah. That's that's good. And what about uh, French fries? Uh, what do you know? What are the ingredients? Oil. Okay. Okay. Potatoes. Potato. Salt. Salt. Delicious. What else? Salt. Oil. Mm, yeah, so maybe. definitely that it's very delicious. And what about pizza? What, what you know, there are different um, ingredients, but could you mention some of the most common or famous ingredients for the pizza, for example? Um, yeah. Okay. Mozzarella, mozzarella, tomato, cheese, onion, onion. Yeah. Okay. 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 Tomato sauce. Uh, tomato sauce. Okay. How do you say harina? A uh, flour. Oh. Flour. 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 Okay. Flour. 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 F L O U R. Okay. Paper. Okay. Pepperoni. Pepperoni too. You know, I I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting hungry, so I can see the food in my mind. <laughs> what about the sandwich? Give me some details about a sandwich. Bread. Bread. Mm -hmm. Bread. Lettuce. Lettuce. Oh, lettuce. 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 Okay. Tomato. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Mayonnaise. 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 Mm -hmm. Most. Okay. Meat. Okay, good. Cucumber. Jam. Cucumber, okay, cucumber too. Yes. Sometimes do you put the ketchup? Oh, the ketchup. Ketchup. Mm -hmm. How would you say ham or jam? Jam. Yeah. Jam. 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 Yes, oh, it's it's very, it's very delicious too. I I love that. Lettuce. And I, I think there is one that should be right there on the list. And the famous Salvadorian pupusas, you know, the one of the best food in the world. So, Chicharron. <laughs> beans and cheese. Like, yeah. Beans, cheese, uh, beans. Yeah, so look at that. Well, the, yeah, the thing is that, you know, we enjoy this no, food. Yeah, Loroco too. And also because those are proper names, Loroco, it's Loroco. You know, there, there are also some, some type of food like whiskeyless, for example and they don't have a uh, english equivalents because those uh, vegetables or fruits belong to latin american and are not originally from the united states or canada that's why there are some some in, some food that they don't change the name because they're proper like whiskeyless there is there are not whiskeyless in the us unless that they send whiskeyless to to us and that's our like one of the proper names. And you know, there's something interesting about cooking food and is that in pupusas, I will go an example. Somebody wants to cook pupusas in the US, but let me tell you that the ingredients in the United States changes are very different to the ingredients we have in El Salvador. So they have a different taste because the ingredients change in El Salvador and the US too. So it's a, a peculiar situation about this food. And if you have to select, um, let's see, because it says put the food in order about your favorite. If I ask you just the, your favorite food, what would you select? Uh, brainstorming, what's your favorite fast food? Brainstorming. Between the list, which one do you, do you like most? My favorite 
the pizza. <laughs> okay, pizza. My favorite food is noodles. Ah, the noodles, awesome. My, My favorite, favorite fast food is hamburger. Ah, hamburger. My favorite food is sushi. Ah, sushi, wow, different, we different. My favorite food is French fries. French fries, okay, Carly, okay. And also My coffee. My favorite food is hamburger. A hamburger, yeah. Okay, interesting. And also coffee for the breakfast and dinner. Oh, yeah. And, and yes. And the sweet bread, like cafecito con pan, como a las cinco de la tarde, you know, it's uh, very typical. Um, for many right, stores. it's great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when it's raining. When it's raining, so people eat a lot, you know, like cafecito con pan around 4 or 5 p.m., it's very common. So for Salvadorans. And also, my I have two favorites. I have two favorites. My favorites are the hamburgers and the pizza. I love them a lot. So I can spend some money, you know, in buying this uh, fast food, but no, always because I need to eat healthy food. It's uh, necessary to eat healthy. Because if we eat a lot of fast food, we can also, you know, get some extra pounds. They pues, uno sube de peso, so it's important to eat healthy in, in a natural way. All right, so let's work in the following conversation. What's the name of the conversation? Who wants to help me to read it? What, what is the name of the conversation? Going out for dinner. Going out for dinner. For dinner. Going out going for, dinner. for dinner. Okay, going, okay, going out for, for food. Okay, so look at those people. According to the picture, where are they in the in the picture? Where are they? In the library. In the library. Library. Oh, the library. Library. oh in, they are in, in the, the library. library. They are like socializing. In the library. So uh, before getting to know about what the conversation will be about, you can see some people in, in the library discussing about what to eat or they have a plan about what they are gonna eat. So let's see the following conversation and I want you to, to read the conversation. So listen carefully. I will record also the pronunciation so you can follow that, the conversation. So allow me one second, please. Meanwhile, I look for the group here. One second. Okay, the conversation says it this way. Look at this, look at this. Jeff and Bob. Native American names that are very common in the US, those names. And let's see here. Okay, let's listen to the conversation. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah. I'm not either. I guess it's a, a bit spicy. Mm, do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Uh, terrific. Let's go. Okay, according to the conversation, I want to ask you, um, what is the conversation about? What what people are discussing about in this conversation? Yes? Okay, read the article and give me an idea what are they talking about? Yes? Uh they are talking, they are about, talking for about dinner. for dinner. Uh, mm. wow. Wow. dinner tonight. Yes. Okay. Okay, so they are like planning where to go, right? And what food is mentioned? What kind of food is mentioned in the conversation? Japanese food. Japanese food. Japanese food. Okay. Japanese food. Excellent. Uh, do you like Japanese food? Yes. Yes. Have you tried mm -hmm. Japanese hey. food, by the way? 
have you tried uh, Indian food? No. 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 Yes. <laughs> okay. Some of you have tried. Some of you have tried Japanese food. Okay. And also Indian food. It's like not so common here in the country, depending some places. Um, and also Japanese food is a little bit more common. In Chinese food, do you like Chinese food? Yes, I love it. Oh, you love yes, it? Yes, I love it. Yes. Yes, I love it. What do you prefer? What do you, yeah, it's delicious. What do you prefer most? Eating a hamburgers or um, Chinese food? Chinese food, Chinese food. Chinese food. Chinese food. Oh, nice. Chinese food of the life. <laughs> okay. You are in a different level, of course. That's why, you know, Chinese food. <laughs> in my case, I love hamburgers and I won't change it. And sometimes when I, when I go out with my friends, we always talk about, you know, where to go. What would you like to eat? What about hamburgers? No, but we love, you know, Chinese food. So at the end, we decide to go to a Chinese uh, restaurant. Okay, now what I want you to do is we're gonna have a short time to practice the following conversation. And I want you to practice with a partner. And the purpose about this in conversation is that you can practice the pronunciation because it's important, it's very vital the way how people talk. Como les digo, es importante porque nosotros lo pronunciamos tratando de darle un acento diferente. Como les, yo les repetía, no, yo puedo decir aquí, ah, bueno, léelo en inglés. Ok, going out for dinner. Y, so, y sonaría como que estuviéramos hablando en español. Let's say, would you like to go to dinner tonight? Sure, where do you want to go? Entonces suena así como que eh, muy español, pero y si tratamos de darle un poquito de acento, cambiarle un poquito, usted escucha eh, un acento diferente. Entonces dice, oh, said, would you like to go out uh, to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Entonces ya, usted ya le da un, un estilo diferente, incluso esto para hablar. Usted que ahora va en este pre-intermediate, ya va caminando a un nivel intermedio, eh, intermedio avanzado eh, la pronunciación es bastante importante lo vamos a leer otra vez más y luego usted practica in a briefly way the conversation let's go with that it says Said, would you like to go out to dinner tonight sure where do you want to go well what do you think of Indian food I love it but I'm not really in the mood for it today yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay, questions about vocabulary? No questions? No questions. Okay, this is your no time. Okay, this is your time to practice. So we're going to um, have a short conversation and I want you to practice the conversation with your partner. And uh, as I told you, practice the pronunciation. It's important. So when you read the word, you won't read like if you're reading in Spanish. No va a leer como que estuviera hablando en, eh, hablando en español. Ustedes escuchan de repente personas que hablan inglés y hasta lo, lo hablan bien, bien bonito. Pero parecería como que se lo estuvieran hablando eh, el inglés con un acento español. ¿Ya han escuchado ustedes eso? Entonces... Eh, usted puede también dar una pronunciación diferente a través de la práctica, aunque nuestro idioma pues obviamente es el español, pero nosotros podemos trabajar esa parte de pronunciación, la práctica, la práctica, sí. la práctica. Es sí. una buena estrategia. Yes. Este, también se oyen a, a gringos a, a hablar español y lo hablan con acento inglés, uh -huh. con acento gringo. Entonces, lo mismo creo que nos oímos nosotros cuando hablamos el inglés con acento. <risa> Acento español. Tenemos que trabajar bastante, I think. Sí, de definitely that we need to focus about that, about the practice. I have spoken with native speakers and also they they uh, speak Spanish like like us. And you know a lot of them here, but it's about practice. Um, es cuestión de práctica. 
eh, es cuestión de práctica también. Yo he, escuchado, he hablado con muchos americanos por mi trabajo, eh, he hablado con muchos americanos también y, y, y tienen un español muy bueno. Eh, conocí a, un, bueno, a unos americanos que vinieron al país y el acento, y como que fuéramos nosotros. Pero claro, eh, la interacción con el idioma, igual ambos idiomas. Entonces es una cuestión de práctica. Y nosotros lo podemos hacer porque nuestro acento es muy, muy interesante. Hay, imagínense un acento en español. Look at, let's talk about um, an Spanish accent from Puerto Rico. You know the accent of Puerto Rico, right? You know, the Puerto Ricans speak Spanish with a very strong accent. And also the Argentina people. So their, their accent is so strong. In comparison to our accents, we got more advantage about it. Entonces, si comparamos el español de Argentina, el español de Puerto Rico, ellos tienen un acento muy fuerte, ¿sí o no? En comparación al nuestro, el de, nuestro acento es muy neutral, es, es como soft. Entonces, nosotros podemos adaptarnos más al, al, al inglés que, digamos, un argentino, porque tiene un acento muy fuerte. So that's why we take advantage about it. So I won't take too much time for this and let's go to the breakout rooms, a sec the invitation and practice the conversation. Entonces lo voy a mandar a los breakout rooms and you practice the conversation. Let's go. Hello? Eh, Carlos? Oh, ok. Eh, igual lo voy a mandar por ahí a un grupo para que pues esté ahí como en la práctica. Don't worry. Ok. Ah, sí, pero como voy manejando no puedo ver ahí. No. Ok. Ahí ok. Don't worry. Don't worry. En Andrea, en Brenda. Andrea and Brenda. Teacher, good evening. Hello, I'm here. Hello, thank you. Eh, eso queríamos la imagen. <laughs> okay, oh, don't worry. I will I will send the also the picture by WhatsApp too. Okay. Thank you. Osmin, si quieres iniciar tú, ¿Eh? luego yo, ajá. Bueno, a ver si lo puedo mostrar el acento que dice el teacher. Intentemos. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure, where do you want to go? To go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I... But I'm not really in the mood for it today. Jen, I do either. I guess it's a big, a bit spicy. Um, how do you like Jap um teacher um Japanese food? Japanese food. Japanese, Japanese. Japanese or Japan? Mm, Japanese. Japanese teacher. Hello. Japanese food. Japanese. Oh. 
eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Eh, Jap Japanese o Japans? Japanese. Japanese, ok, thank Yes, you. you're welcome. Ok, um, how did you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too, and I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Oh, you always want, wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Teacher, tengo, Um, hi. tengo, tengo duda en Airoha. Yes. Airoha. Oh, Iroha. Airoha. Yes. Uh, okay, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. And by the way, I sent it to you uh, the audio of the conversation if you want to double check. And por ahí también les compartí un audio eh, con la práctica de esa eh, conversation. So, usted la puede escuchar también como, como grupo. You can do it too. El teacher es la que envió antes de que iniciara la clase. No, la envié cabal en el momento que estábamos practicando la conversación. Pero en WhatsApp. Yes. No, teacher, no aparece. Uh, Quiero let's ver. see. Yes, I guess so. Yeah, ahí está. Ah, ah, sí, yes, yes, teacher. All right. Okay, so you can try. Pero, teacher, es la misma, es la misma conversación. Yes, it is. Ah, ok, quiero escuchemos para escuchar cómo se pronuncia cada palabra. Yeah, that, that can help you to practice. Yeah. Ok, eh, solo la escuchamos. Japanese. Here, here, it's called Iroha. Oh, I always went to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Otra vez. Um, si ya lo hicimos una, o sea, si ya repetimos, podríamos aprovechar con las palabras que estamos pronunciando mal. Vale, entonces inicio yo. Okay. okay. Say, could you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, it's not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Jap Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Iroha. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay. And I'm staying in Catherine. ¿Quién va conmigo? Yo voy a hacer la segunda parte. Say, would you like to go out to dinner, Tony? Sure. Where do you want to go? To? Well, what do you think Indian food? I love it, but I don't really in, in the mood for it today. Yeah, I... I not either. I get it a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too, and I know a nice spot, a Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, oh I always went to go there. Terrific, let's go.
Sure, where do you want to go? Well, what do you think um, of India food? I love it, but but I, I am not really in the mood for to eat tonight. Today, eat today. Yeah, I'm not eight. I guess it a bit like okay, say play. Space, what's it? Uh, hmm. Like, How do you like Japanese food? Oh, uh, I like I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It is a color, Iroha. Oh, you always wanted to go there. Terrific, let's go. Y ese Iroha, creo, me imagino yo, es el nombre del, del restaurant, ¿verdad? Sí. Y era que está bien. Esa esa palabra eh, que está arriba en en Jeff que dice uh -huh. Yeah, I am uh -huh. not hater. I went in sa. No sé qué es. Eh, no sé si se habrá usted el significado eh, y el pronunci pronunciación de dice It is a bit spicy. Ah, es que no lo habrá ver. Por eso es que me detuve, vamos a buscar en el diccionario, así ahí me, me, me quedé un poquito, no sé. La mosca. Trap. Sí, sí. No, la pronunciación. Teacher, I have a question. What is the pronunciation, Iroha or Iroha? Iroha, but this is a Japanese name. It's, it's a Japanese name, it's not uh, American. Iroha. Yeah, it's, it's a restaurant in Japan. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, but this is not, uh, this is not a, an American name. So it's not familiar for us. Okay, and the other question is how do you say the pronunciation is spicy or space? It's, it's, uh, it's spicy. 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 Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And also, um, les mandé por ahí un, un audio con esta conversación ahí en el grupo. Para que usted también la pueda escuchar y pueda eh, enfocarse en, en la pronunciación. Así que, pues, para que se lo tenga ahí también y lo pueda practicar. Entonces, son estrategias como para práctica. Eh, otro consejo es, eh, el, eh, por ejemplo, leer libros en inglés es muy importante cuando uno va adquiriendo, pues, la pronunciación. Entonces, ayuda muchísimo. Así que, pues, les recomiendo de que consigan un libro básico de inglés y vayan sacando las palabras y enfocarse en la pronunciación. Es muy, muy importante. Le ayuda muchísimo a mejorar el inglés en un tiempo récord. Bien, vamos con sure. este tema. Yes. Sure. Tell me. Eh, ¿Algún al, eh, de esos libros que usted está recomendando, alguno que usted conozca que nos recomiende? Mm, realmente no tengo, o sea, sugerencia de libros, ya que lo importante es que los libros digamos, sean, hay diferentes niveles de libros, por supuesto, entonces hay libros que son bien básicos, o sea, mi recomendación puede ser cualquier libro en inglés, pero que tenga, digamos, un vocabulario bastante básico. Ok. Sí, porque como ustedes están iniciando, eh, van a ir conociendo estructuras, entonces a medida que vayan conociendo estructuras, va a ser para ustedes mucho más fácil. Entonces... Okay. Sí, incluso eh, periódicos en línea, ustedes pueden poner ahí, pueden escribir en, en, en internet, eh, es, pueden escribir libros eh, o lecturas en inglés básico y ustedes buscan en internet y les va a aparecer eh, 
una serie de, de, de páginas que le pueden servir para que usted practique ese vocabulario y esa lectura. Entonces, eh, hay muchas, muchos eh, libros en línea. Entonces, es bastante recomendable. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. So that can help you. You know, step Teacher. by step. Yeah. Teacher. Hi. Como usted dice, este, hay diferentes formas de, 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 de auxiliarnos en la pronunciación y conocimiento yeah. de esas palabras. Yo lo que hago es que descargo letras de, de, de canciones. Oh, en nice. Ajá, de los virus, me, me encanta la música de los virus, entonces descargo la, la canción con, en inglés y también la letra en español, y ahí vamos comparando. Oh, that's good. That is a great strategy. Yeah. By the way, and a propósito, yo me acuerdo que yo hacía una estrategia similar. Eh, había unas canciones de, de unos grupos eh, que me gustaban, entonces yo bajaba la, la letra y entonces la iba traduciendo. Y me funcionaba. <ríe> Así que puede ser una, una estrategia. Bien, vamos a pasar la asistencia y ustedes me dicen presente, please. Ok, let's see here. Uh, Amanda Jamilet Chicas. Amanda Jamilet Chicas. Oh, she's not here. Andrea Gabriela Maravilla. Present. Thank you. Eh, Brenda Liliana Quintanilla. Brenda. Present. Oh, she's there. Eh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Carlos, Carlos Edgardo Cruz. No. Eh, Carmen Lisset Santillana. Present. Eh, Francisco Antonio oh. Calderón. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Iván Ibrahim Ramírez. Present, teacher. Okay, let's see here. Eh, Jennifer Tatiana Gutiérrez Ochoa. Jennifer? No, she's not here. Eh, Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. Present. José Alberto Enríquez. Present. José Alexander Hernández. Present. Karen. Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Karina Alejandra Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Carla Liz Lizette Martinez. Carla. Eh, Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Catherine Iracema Villalta. Present. Leticia Aide Flores López. Present. Eh, Linda Beatriz López. Present. Eh, Luis Eduardo Méndez. I'm here. Thank you. Eh, Mayra Xiomara Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, María Dolores García. I'm here. That's great. And what about Maritza Elizabeth Rojas? Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Melissa Stephanie Linares. Present. Nelson uh, Rodimiro Pineda. Present teacher. Thanks. Osmin Vidai Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Present. Uh, Sara Elisa Bellos. Present. Wendy Paola Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Yolanda del Carmen Hernandez. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's go and practice the following topic that is very interesting to talk about this. Maybe you are like socializing about this topic. The topic is called and to so uh, so to neither and either. Usted también lo puede escuchar como either en neither, pero por lo general se, se puede pronunciar de las dos maneras, either o either. Usted lo va a escuchar de las dos maneras, so it's acceptable. And tenemos so, to, neither, and either. I like Japanese food a lot. Entonces la oración dice que yo como, eh, me gusta la comida japonesa y vemos el quantifier a lot, que significa bastante. 
me gusta bastante la comida japonesa. Entonces, eh, in this case, eh, en este caso, como estamos usando el verbo like, entonces eh, ocupamos un auxiliar que es el do. Como yo le digo, do you like Japanese food? Do you like pizza? Do you like eh, hamburgers? Entonces, yo también, yo quiero decir que a mí también me gusta. Entonces, yo voy a responder, so do I. O I do too. Tenemos dos maneras para responder. So do I or I do too. ¿Y qué significa yo también? A ver, yo voy a decir algo y si ustedes están de acuerdo, usted me va a decir, so do I. Ok. Hey, students, you know, I love uh, pupusas. So do I. So do I. Ok. Qué buenos gustos tienen. Ok. Next one. Let, let me try the next one. Um, I love, I love tamales. Yeah, so do I. I. Do too. Yes, so do I. Okay. I don't so do like I. Very right. much. Okay. I do too. Yeah, I, I, I actually, th I'm thinking about that. I, I love the atol chuco. I yes. do. So do I. I do too. I, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like it very much. Okay, so th there's also another possibility to say that you don't like it. So you say, I don't, I don't like, really? It's like, en serio? Really? Uh, well, I don't like it very much. Cuando pues, usted no está de acuerdo, cuando uno le gusta, uno comparte con la misma opinión, you know, I don't like it. Um, so, vemos ahí que puedo usar el so do I, o I do too. Eh, pero si yo, por ejemplo, Carmen, eh, do you like, Carmen, do you like um, spaghetti? Uh, Yolanda de Carmen, do you like spaghetti? So do I. Ok, entonces yo, yo voy a decir que, que también a, a Carmen le gusta. Entonces yo voy a decir, so does Yolanda. Eh, Romeo, do you like pizza? So do I. Ok, so I could say that, si yo quiero mencionarlo en tercera persona, voy a decir, so... Y como es tercera persona, voy a decir das. So does he. O so does Romeo. So does he. So does she. Eh, para decir que también a, ella le, también a ella le gusta o también a él le gusta. Entonces, so does she o so does he. Entonces, y si, si, a, si es a mí, yo digo, so do I. Me gusta también. Vamos con la otra. I'm crazy about dessert. I'm crazy. Eh, en este caso, ¿qué verbo estamos usando en esa oración? I'm crazy about desert. The verb to be. Ah, el verb be. Estamos usando el verb be. Significa que la respuesta que yo voy a dar también tiene que ser con el verbo be. Entonces, yo voy a decir, so am I. Es decir, yo también. Hey, yo estoy encantado por las pupusas. Y alguien va a decir, hey, yo también. Entonces, como estamos usando el yo estoy, estoy encantado, entonces yo voy a decir, so am I, o I am too. So am I, you know. Um, I, I am in love of tacos. Hey, so am I. Es como decir, yo también. Estoy encantado de los tacos. O, o I am too. Dos, posibil dos posibilidades. Y si yo quiero decir que no, if I want to say no. Oh, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm no not. estoy encantado de eso. No estoy interesado en eso. I'm not. I'm not. Entonces vemos la diferencia. Cuando es el verbo be, usted tiene que responder con am. So am I. Si es para primera persona. Y si yo quiero decir que, que eh, por ejemplo, eh, Carla, Stephanie también está encantada de los postres. Yo voy a decir, so is she. she. So is she. Y Romeo está encantado, voy a decir, so is he. 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 Exactly. So, so that's that he. he. Or so, he is too. Or he is too. Mm -hmm. Ajá, o he is too, sí, ajá. O Luis, Luis Eduardo está encantado de las pizzas. So, so is he. O... He is, he is two. Two possible choices. Vamos con la tercera. Or Luis is two. Ok, Luis is two. Está encantado. I can't eat really spicy food. 
Dice que I can eat real spicy food. Yo puedo comer realmente eh, comida picante o con pimienta. En este caso sería spicy food. Eh, entonces, como estoy, ¿cuál es el verbo que estoy utilizando? El verbo principal. Can. 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 As an auxiliar. Exactly. As an auxiliar. Entonces, como yo digo que yo puedo comer comida picante y yo quiero decir que yo también puedo, yo voy a decir, oh, so, so can I. I can. can I. So 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 can I. Yo también, oh, I can yo también too. puedo. Oh, I, I can, can too. too. I can too. Be honest, I don't like the spicy food. No mucho me gusta la comida picante, les, les soy honesto. Spicy food is not, not so good for me. But people love it. My family love that. Yes. I, I can see there, there together. Eh, el Ken y el Lid. Mm -hmm. cuando, yes. cuando van dos verbos juntos, creo que después del Ken iría to eat. En este caso, eh, como Ken es un verbo auxiliar, es, es, un, es de la familia de los verbos auxiliares. Cuando es un auxiliar, estos no llevan el to. Por ejemplo, Ken, could, my. May, should, must, will. Todos estos, este grupo de verbos son verbos auxiliares. Entonces, estos verbos no necesitan llevar el to. Ok, ok, thank yes. you. Ah, cabal este de la familia de can, could, my, may, should, must, no llevan. Ok, eh, en este caso, so can I. Y si yo quiero decir que, bueno, yo digo, I can... I can eat really spicy food, pero yo quiero decir que Francisco también, ¿cómo puedo decir? ¿Que Francisco también puede? So can he. He can. Ah, ah so can he, or okay. he can too, all right. He can too. Okay. He can too. He can too, nice. Hey, Francisco, do you like a spicy food? So can I. Ah, okay. Nice, nice. Ok, so Perdón, that's good. Perdón, yes I can, yes I can sería oh, este caso. Oh yeah. Ok, so let's see. Really I can't. Si es negativo, pues usted dice really. Este really es bien común. Usted va a escuchar muchas expresiones como really. Es como para decir nosotros, en serio, de verdad. Those expressions like very normal for people to use it. It's a surprising expression. Es una, una expresión de admiración. En serio, de verdad. Te gusta la comida picante, you know, you like this kind of food. So that's very challenging for you. And, y vemos la forma negativa. Veamos eh, cuando usamos el neither y el eater. Este también se ocupa, el neither se ocupa eh, para cuando nosotros usamos lo negativo. Yo digo en inglés, I don't like greasy food. No me gusta la comida grasosa. Do you? Not so much, right? So I don't like neither do I. Ok, entonces yo voy a decir neither do neither I. Neither do I. Ese neither significa eh, ni yo tampoco. Este ya, ya va como a él no le gusta, a mí tampoco me gusta. En el anterior, el so y el to nos decían que sí, pero el neither y el leader nos dicen lo contrario, nos dicen que no. So neither do I. No me gusta la comida grasosa, ni a mí tampoco. So neither do I. O I don't either. Puedo usar las dos formas. Oh, I like it a lot. O si usted quiere decir que le gusta, hey, pero me gusta bastante, you know, I like it a lot. Teacher, one question. Yes. En este caso, eh, para la forma negativa, se utilizaría neither and either. Únicamente que noto que si se utiliza neither, el auxiliar yeah, se mantiene en positivo. Neither. Mientras que, que si, si se utiliza el either, el auxiliar auxiliar de vivir en negativo, con este caso el tú. Exactly. Como es una palabra estructurada, usted ve que neither comienza con una N. Yes. Entonces, esa N es una representación sí. negativa. Entonces, es negativo. Dice, ajá, neither do I. Entonces, ya va incluido el not ahí. Entonces, por eso usted puede decir neither do I, para decir ni yo tampoco. O I don't either. Si usted se fija, en la segunda parte ya va el don't aparte. Entonces, ya no tiene que llevar una N. Solo va a llevar eater. I don't eater. Vamos a ver. Okay, usted, yo voy a decir algo y usted me dice que tampoco le gusta. Usted sígame la corriente. You know, I don't like alcohol. Neither do I. Neither do I. Okay, nice. Nice. Neither do I. I. Don't I. Either. Oh, I don't eat her. 
Yeah. Okay. Do yeah. okay. Uh, I, I, I don't like the Philippines food. One example. I don't mm. either. Uh -huh. I don't either. Or, I don't either. or neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. Okay, you say, yeah. oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Y viene la siguiente. I'm not in the mood for in a food. No estoy, no tengo ganas. Para nosotros sería como no tengo ganas o no estoy motivado de comer. Entonces, como estoy diciendo que no estoy, vamos a utilizar neither. Am I? I. Aquí, I. aquí estamos I. usando el am porque yo estoy diciendo que no estoy usando el verbo be. Neither am I or I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. I can't stand fast food. No. Neither can I. Ajá. No soporto la comida rápida. O no me gusta. No soporto. I can't stand fast food. Entonces, nosotros decimos neither can, can I. I. Porque estamos usando el can como verbo principal. O I can't either. O usted dice, no, but teacher, I love it. So you can also compare the these fractures. I can. Yeah, I can't, you know, I can't either. I can't so, entonces, either. esa es parte de la estructura del so to, neither, and either. Tomorrow, for the class, we will have more practice. I will show you some statements. You will have the opportunity to decide which uh, will you use for that one. If so, to, neither, or either. So, it's about practice. We just, like, gave the introduction about this grammar structure. And also, we need to practice a little bit more about food. You know, I like uh, Chinese food. Hey, so do I. Oh, I do too. You know, I'm interested. I'm interested in hamburgers. Hey, so am I. Oh, so she. So is she. So we can actually talk about that. Oh, I can cook. Uh, I can cook. Um, pizza. Hey, so can I. Oh, I can too. Oh, I cannot cook. Um. Chinese food, hey, neither can I. So we can actually can use. Todo es about practice. Es acerca de la práctica. La práctica, la práctica, nos hace nosotros eh, un poquito eh, usarlo de la manera natural. Esto es una estructura muy, muy importante. Es una estructura bien nativa. Es una estructura muy nativa. Eh, aquí la gente dice, I don't like. I don't, I don't. Pero eh, cuando usamos el so, do, eh, to, neither, and neither, eso es una, es, una, es una estructura muy nativa. Entonces, cuando, cuando usted le digan, hey, I like Japanese food, hey, so do I, van a, van a ver que usted, pues, tiene una estructura muy, muy, muy importante. Por eso es, la gramática es muy importante, porque la gramática no se hace hablar un idioma, pero de la manera correcta, no de la manera informal. Nosotros aquí aprendemos un inglés formal, y eso es diferente. Okay, guys, so time is, time is up. So I really appreciate your time. I hope to see you tomorrow. And congratulations for your practice. I know that you have done a great job. So see you tomorrow and let's continue practicing. Good class, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good